Welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. Uh, I'm out here in Utah. I just left the Salt Lake area and I'm heading towards Nevada and through Wendover. I'll probably stop in Wells tonight and then I'm going to head on up into Idaho. But I decided to come along this uh, route right here because there's a lot of old uh, railroad stops and ghost towns out here. And I don't know how many I can get into but we're going to try to get into as many as we can before we get into Nevada. Right now, I'm uh, in an old truck stop. It was called Teddy Bear. It's in Tempe. Tempe Springs is right here. I'm going to swing the detector and see if we can't find anything. The uh, service station is long gone, old truck stop, but I don't know what's out here, but we'll kind of look around and see what's going on out here. But hey, if you guys enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, hey, sure appreciate you guys. If you're one of my Patreons, hey, thanks for supporting the channel. But anyways, let's just see if we can find anything cool and let's get a swing. And hey, thanks for coming along. Today, I'm going to be using the MindLab Equinox 800. I've got the larger coral on it, the uh, 11 inch. I uh, may, should probably put a smaller one on it, but I'm going to try the 11 inch just because I can get a little more depth and cover a little more area. Probably a lot of trash out here, and so the smaller one would probably come in more handy. But I'm going to start out with this one. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, here's everything I dug. Looks like maybe melted aluminum, maybe. Looks like some of this, maybe the place burnt down. And that's why there's melted aluminum. I don't know what these, this here is. Pop metal, maybe of some sort. Uh, a weight, weight off a vehicle. So you know there was vehicles here in an old mason jar lid. But man, that thing is heavy. It is heavy, which tells me there might be something inside of it but it is awful heavy for just being a little lid unless it's full of dirt or unless it's full of something else but anyway so i'll, I'll hold on to that and bust this open later on but that but it's awful heavy for its size but anyways that's what i found well nothing good found here so i guess i will move on and see if i can come to the next location so hey let's get a rolling i don't even dare metal detect this there's so much trash around here looks like just an old bottle dump can dump this was probably the dump for the little town they had here i'll just walk around see what i can find here that one's intact intact that one's intact what is that uh, sale this bottle half a pint uh, Smirnoff that crown I thought it was crown royal 
something. Looks like that's a smear now. Huh, cool. It's not busted up anyways. No. Pepsi bottle is busted. Bummer. Too bad bottles like these with the handles on them have to be busted all up. That would have been a cool little one. Cool little bottle. I wonder if that's gold inlaid on that. If that's gold. I don't know, huh? You have to keep that and check that out. You probably get an idea of dates by stuff like that. Research that, that'd give you an idea, I guess, of when uh, this was around. That was a weird one, huh? Weird bottle. got to be a little older. It's got a thick-ass bottom on that thing. I don't know what that is. An anchor, maybe, it looks like. Hmm. This, here, this here's kind of cool. It's got a screen on it. that was maybe top of a candle or something I don't know that's kind of cool almost looks like somebody's been out here and like turned up some of these piles or raked them or something they were looking for something wonder what they were looking for it's like it's another one another full one intact Twist top, so they're not corked. Now, if you're bored one day, you just research the old Coke bottles that they made for the uh, uh, the army. I guess think it was in 42, 43. They were had Santa Claus on the bottles, the Coke bottles. See what those things are worth. See this one here. It got hot. It melted. It's probably a Coke bottle. That's probably about as close as you'll come to one being intact right there. Should be having gloves on when I'm playing with this here. It was a full one once upon a time and broke apart. Uh, nice bit of California. That... Oh, there's another one of those things. Huh, I wonder what they were. Hmm. That may have been like maybe an ink bottle. Maybe not. Black. <sighs> Is that a little mini bottle? Made in USA. 56.55. That would have been the guess I would have made of this area. What's this? Huh, that's kind of weird like a plunger of some sort. It's heavy. Huh. I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's went together there. It almost looks like it could. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe. I think if you came in with a rake and raked some of this area away, you know, cleared off some of this area, dig down in there, you might find some cool stuff. Yeah, here, walking around bottle dumps. You should always check like inside of the bushes and stuff like that. That's probably where you'll find the better stuff at. 
reason I say that for is because a lot of times people come out here and they'll just shoot this stuff or bust it up. But they don't see the stuff that's hidden inside the bushes. So there's probably a glass, maybe a Coke glass. These almost look like they're tall shot glasses. Well, I think the only thing this is home to now is probably the Wolverines or something. Whoever lives in these holes right there. What do you think that was? Hmm. There's another bottle. Probably not old at all. Probably Heinz 57 or something like that. Steak sauce. You know, there's all the cool stuff I found. Well, this little place was called Dell. And if you look on the maps, it shows you, uh, it's on this side. It's on the north side of the highway. But the town that is showing you now, what left of the town, just a little small little town, it is on the south side of the highway. So this is where the old part used to be over here, the old town, the old ghost town. I don't know how big it was, but uh, whether it may have even been a railroad stop because you got the railroad right there. So that's possible it was a railroad stop here. Later on, I'll show you how I'm finding all of this type of stuff though. It's quite interesting, pretty easy to find these old uh, places here, but well, I guess I'm off to the next location. Let's go see if we can get to another one. Well, this was one of them markings of the towns, or railroad stops or whatever, but I don't see no evidence of anything being here. Some scrape marks. Hmm. I don't think that's some, some old tin. Pieces of wood. Like a door off of something, huh? Cast iron stove, maybe? Or maybe off a train. Think that's off a train? That's kind of cool, huh? But generally, a place like this would have, you know, your dumps. You got to find tin cans and stuff like that. You got to find all the tin cans. I think maybe there's one. Oh, see, there's a couple of them, okay. And see this right here? Uh, there's your lead solder right there. So that was late 1800s, early 1900s there. More cans there. More buried stuff right there. Bunch of buried stuff right there. Well, maybe this is where it was then. Maybe this is it. What's left? And the railroad's right there. Well, maybe I ought to get a detector out and just swing for a moment, I guess. I think maybe the heel off a boot or a shoe. Probably a boot. The heel off one. So it's ringing up a 22. Looks like maybe it's some type of a snap or a button. That's what it is. It's a button. Huh. A metal button. It's got writings on it. I'll have to uh, clean that up a little later and see what that says. That's pretty cool. There wasn't a lot here. Uh, you know, some of those cans, but that button was kind of cool. It's hard to say right exactly where this town, you know, site really was. It could have been on the other side of this little dirt road closer to the train tracks could be a little further down uh, you know say there's pieces of wood and tin around here so it's really hard to say without really exploring 
this area more to get a better idea but i don't want to spend too much time here so uh i'm going to, to continue on uh see if there's another one up there i tried to get to another one i drove down the dirt road and uh, i didn't want to continue down the dirt road so i flipped around some of these you know and pulling this big ass trailer it's hard to get to and i'm on this dirt road here i gotta go further down and find a way to turn around but hopefully i can anyways but uh well let's continue on And on the map, it does show two names for this town. Well, it's not two names, but it shows the name on both sides of the track. So it's hard to say if I was in the right one or not. But generally, the double tracks where they had a spot to pull off at is where the, the railroad stops would be at. Vast open area up there, though. I know that. Well, it's showing on the map that this old town should be right here. But I don't really see no remnants. This has been flooded out. This has had water on it. So if this was part of the town. It's probably gone by now. Well, the town is gone by now. But any remnants of it evidence of it being there is probably gone. Now that looks like some cement foundations where it's been scraped together or something. Maybe that was part of it. Well, I guess I uh, won't be doing any detecting here. Uh, this was the last stop that I know of. There might be a couple little dinky ones further off the highway, but nothing that I wanted to stop at. So anyways, I guess that was my uh, my little journey, my little uh, adventure, as I guess you'd call it. But all right, anyways, I did find one cool thing that that uh, button that was cool. Oh yeah, I was going to show you how I how I find uh, these uh, rail stops in uh, ghost towns. I got to do that. I got to show you how I find finding this type of stuff. Special Recreation Management Area. Fee station and information. Really? They want you to pay to go up in here? Give me a frickin' break. Guess there's a little box you're supposed to pay. What a joke. Well, I'm not really sure where this old town was. They probably have uh, all the evidence has probably been long gone. It's hard to say. Guess you could spend more time here and investigate it, but heck, I don't want to spend any more time here. I got other things to do. One thing I like to use is these Treasure Atlas books. This here one here is volume nine. It's a 10 volume set. Of course, now I was looking in Utah. And if you go to Utah, they'll show you all of, so see, I was traveling right here along this interstate and they'll show you all these numbers. And then you just look at the numbers and they'll tell you like ghost town and how far it is and or sometimes like a mormon treasure said to value 500,000 was reportedly buried in an abandoned well during an indian attack in the great salt lake desert about 4 miles northeast of nose so anyway i stopped at a lot of these places here along the way that's one thing that I use. I use topo maps on the other ones also. They're good too. If you can download a topo map onto your uh, phone, I'll show you the topo maps here too. But that's how I locate a lot of these uh, stops, railroad stops in Ghost Town to metal detect along the highways or on my journey as I travel. I'm going to Idaho next, so I'll break out the Idaho set next.
Well, that's the end of this here. Uh, my next stop now is into Nevada. So anyways, uh, that was my little uh, tour, I guess, metal detecting of some of these railroad stops and, and old ghost towns. But anyways, it was kind of fun. I always just enjoy getting out and looking for treasures and metal detecting. Just in itself, it's pretty fun. But anyways, I want to thank you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures. So, hey, until our paths cross again, you guys all be safe. Take care. See you, bye.